Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the ASIO driver in Ableton Live without having an actual interface connected to your computer. So we're just going to use the virtual ASIO driver from VoiceMeter. So the idea is we're going to use a DAW, in this case Ableton, to enhance our microphone audio before sending it out to programs such as Zoom or Skype or OBS. Okay, so first off, you have to make sure that your playback driver, the, the device rather, the default device is the voice meter input. And for your recording, the default device is voice meter aux output. Also, make sure that in the properties, the the default sample rate is the same for all devices. So if it's 48,000 here, 48,000 here in the input, and 48,000 here in voice meter, as well as in Ableton. Okay? Okay, so we're going back to our voice meter client. And you have to make sure that your microphone input is in one of these three hardware input columns okay so in this case i ch chose mine the 55 k678 here in the first column and now we're going to the settings and you have to toggle the channels 7 and 8 and 15 and 16 okay and then after you've toggled that we're going to ableton live so going to the preferences and the audio and choose the driver type ASIO and voice meter insert virtual ASIO. Okay, that's important. For the input config, for the mono inputs, just choose one and two. For the stereo inputs, you have to toggle seven and eight also. This is the stereo input for the desktop audio. Okay. If in your voice meter you chose a different hardware input column for example you chose three so your microphone is supposedly on the third input just toggle five and six so one and two for the first column three and four for the second five and six for the third okay and the okay and for the output config for the stereo inputs toggle seven and eight and fifteen and sixteen Okay, and after all that is done, set sample rate to 48,000, same as with the voice meter. Okay, and now we're going to our audio tracks. So, add two audio tracks, one for your mic and a desktop audio. So, for the microphone in, our audio from, we're going to choose channels 1 or 2, 1 and 2. And you're going to monitor and for the audio out you're gonna ch choose channel 15 and 16. for the desktop audio we're gonna choose audio from channel 7 and 8. i'm gonna monitor and output is channel 7 and 8 also so if i make a desktop sound here it's registering on the levels there so we now know that it's working and we're going back to the voice meter okay now make sure that the voice meter aux is b2 is good okay, there we go so yeah there the microphone audio is going through voice meter aux for the voice meter vaio since this is your default device you can opt to not toggle b1 or you could depends if you choose the voice meter vaio as a as an audio source or a speaker out rather in a program for example in OBS in OBS we can we can choose the audio settings so disable everything except some auxiliary audios so in here the first one is the, uh, voice meter output and the second one is voice meter aux output so what happens here is you have two channels for the desktop audio and the microphone audio. So if I make a sound again, see it's, it registers. Okay. And 
to check if it's working if your audio is being processed correctly without crackling you can monitor your aux so right now i'm monitoring my enhanced audio to one of my hardware out so a2 on my headphones you can also go to your sounds and recording properties and listen to this device so this so is just, this is just like, like, a like a redundant, redundant test. test yeah yeah because you can do it directly here in a voice meter already okay i guess that's it now you are using a DAW to enhance your microphone before sending it out to different programs. Now let's go again here at DAW. So here is the example or here is my raw mic audio. So without enhancement so it's kind of bad right because it's noisy in the room. But when I enable the audio effects so it gets better there's sig a significant change or enhancement in the audio okay now you can just choose your audio effects and just use a DAW and enhance your audio okay that's it and thanks for watching